many people refer to uh, the year 2005 when um, the then foreign minister uh, Ben Bott uh, went to Indonesia and joined the celebration of uh, the 17th August. He said something like, yeah, we the Dutch were on the wrong side of history, blah, blah, blah. But when he came home in the Netherlands, nothing changed legally. So if you go, there is a website in the Netherlands that contains all the laws and all the rights that the Dutch state has. It is written until today that Indonesia became independent in 1949. So from law perspective, the Dutch state never acknowledged that Indonesia is a sovereign state from 1945. I think it is a very... Um, marginal discussion to be honest so in general people uh, do not know and never heard about the Persiap but um, within the communities that are yeah, linked to this history yes Persiap is a very common word and also an often heard accusation against Indonesia and they often talk in terms like where where two parties, there are two, uh, where, where two parties fight, there are two parties to blame. So if they, they equalize the struggle, they do not present it as an occupation. And so there is, in, in this whole narrative of Bersiap, there is not an occupier versus those who were occupied. So they, they equalize it, they present it like we have two disagreeing forces that fight each other but it, it ne neglects the fact that the Dutch were on foreign land that did not belong to them I think there is not uh, there are not two or multiple perspectives here uh, of course there are multiple perspectives but there is only one uh, rightful uh, perspective and that is an anti-colonial decolonial view and i think that is no matter if you are dutch or indonesian whether you are white or non-white or whatever uh, it is our challenge also as historians to find out what is anti-colonial what is decolonial thought what is it i mean there has been so many uh, productions already also by historians but moreover also by social sociologists or other uh, anthropologists worldwide that have contributed to a school of decolonial thought. I think it is impossible. If you talk about human rights violations, if you talk about a, an occupation of another man's land, you cannot stay neutral. And if you stay neutral, if you don't want to say what was bad or what was good or what was right and what was wrong, you refuse the discussion about ethics. You don't want to talk about the bigger meaning of it. And I think by staying neutral, um, that Dutch people say that often. And I think that's just a, a lame excuse to to not having to face the the implication of of this whole history.